you look at our readiness posture and you look at, kind of at what we need to do to accelerate, um, we need to improve not only how, how we get our airplanes back to the fleet and how we sustain them right now, but we need new capabilities out there faster. And additive is a technology that enables that. Additive manufacturing has been defined as a layer by layer approach of adding material rather than subtractive, uh, subtracting like milling or machining off the material. So it's a layer by layer to build up part using 3D models. We're really interested in it because you can produce parts that you need quickly um, and there's no tooling required for it. So you use the same machine to produce lots of different parts and so that makes it really different from traditional processes and allows us to reduce the time that our aircraft are down. Initially our, our real goal is to make sure we understand the manufacturing processes and that we can ensure that when we put a um, additive manufactured part on our aircraft, in particular metal parts, um, that we know how it is going to perform. We know how it was manufactured, we have quality control processes and standards that we can implement for ourselves if we're manufacturing it or for our industry partners if they're manufacturing it. And much like any other part that we put on the aircraft, we understand how it will perform. So we were approached by the additive manufacturing team. They proposed uh, using our aircraft as a demonstration of their, one of their first uh, additive manufactured parts. And um, we took a look at that, what their pr proposal was, and uh, felt like it was something absolutely we could support. Part's a, a critical application item. Um, it attaches the engine the cell to the wing. It was chosen because it was a titanium part, and titanium is one of the more mature materials. And it was chosen because it was flight critical, but also in a fail-safe configuration so that we could do this as safely as we could with a critical item. It's, uh, it's not a new part. There's obviously a legacy part that we have instrumented and flown for years, very much know the history of. The additive manufacturing team took a look at that and chose this part for that reason, as well as it being um, a redundant link so that if, uh, if there were problems, it wouldn't be a safety flight issue for the aircraft. One of the, the big points of this demonstration was to establish that this can be done, um, to showcase that printing a flight critical part is possible. What that does is it, it sends a strong message to the whole organization that if we can print a flight critical structural part, we can then do those less critical items knowing that, that this process is, is sound. This was an incredibly difficult challenge, not just technically, but culturally. And the test is, is a validation that happened in faster than we honestly thought we, ourselves even going into it. We were able to make four different production designs of this additive manufacturing part in a very few months. That's the equivalent of multiple production line stand-ups. And if we did that in a traditional way, it would have taken years. So just being able to change how we do things and use that has really accelerated. It's really shown us that this technology is going to be usable. And we think we're starting to understand the processes that we need to do to use it safely. Well, one of the opportunities that, that additive manufacturing has is just the, 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 um, the rapid ability to make parts compared to some other processes. So we have a lot of assets that are you know, nearing the end of their life uh, and obsolescence can be a problem. So additive manufacturing offers a way to rather than waiting for you know, sometimes over a year to get a part or maybe qualifying a new vendor to be able to, to print things uh, much more quickly. It also gears itself to um, novel design concepts. I always like to say in additive manufacturing, the, the real constraint becomes the limit of the engineer's imagination as opposed to, you know, the constraints you have in traditional manufacturing. And somebody who's very creative, that thought is kind of provocative, you know, that you can do almost anything with it. And it's really exciting getting involved in something like this right at the beginning, right at the forefront, and really being a part of the team that will help make decisions and help shape where this technology will go and how it will be implemented. Navair and Navy recognize the potential of additive manufacturing to 
address operational availability, enhance performance, and reduce cost. And we're breaking new ground, and it's going to have a very positive effect for us in the future.